with the new transactions in the reconcile screen feature basically you get this big button here that allows you to quickly open any of the transactions that you normally are creating in the middle of a reconciliation so you're missing an expense or missing a deposit you can do it quickly do it through here what's also nice about these these buttons is that if i press a deposit for example it opens up the deposit uh, screen for me and it also pre-selects the actual bank account that I happen to be working on. Um, without this feature, basically QuickBooks will, will recommend the last um, account that you were working on. So I'll give you an example. So let's say I get out of here for a second and I'm going to just go to the chart of accounts, just go anywhere else. And I, I were to go to new and then go to deposit and it would select the last account that I use. So let's say the last account that I use is this one. And I select a couple of transactions, which is BOA1122. And I click on save and close. So next time I go to create a deposit, I go to bank deposit, it will default to BOA1122. Now in contrast, if I'm reconciling, so I'm going to go back to the reconciling page and I create the transaction straight from here. If I click on, uh, what was it, deposit? Yeah. So I click on deposit here. It opens up the deposit screen and then it changes it to the contextual account that I'm working on. This could also be accessed via Control Shift E. So by Control Shift E, it opens up that that little drop down for me, and I can tab or Shift tab into whatever transaction that I want. So this works with uh, the reconcile screen when the feature is turned on. Now another great feature inside Reconcile is the CSV export. So let's say you happen to be reconciling, and for whatever reason, and I know at some point in time you probably had this desire, is you want to export the current current Reconcile screen exactly the way you have it with the check marks and including the transactions that have been checked and the ones that haven't been checked. Just click on the CSV um, button and it will just give it a second so it will runs through. It does sort of like a quick simulation of the screen. It reads the entire page and it's going to generate um, an Excel spreadsheet for you. So this happens to be a pretty long one. So I'm kind of just showing you what would happen if it's a pretty long one. And there it is. That here is being downloaded. I'll click on that. So it opens up in Excel for me. And now I have my entire reconciliation page. This one happens to be 400 lines long with all the dollar amounts here. And here on the I column, the status of whether or not it's been reconciled. So you can quickly filter by the one that has been reconciled or not. So you're trying to find a specific dollar amount. Like right now, I'm off by $580, which we also bring it into one of the columns here. So you quickly know exactly what you're off by. So as you are reconciling or trying to find a transaction, you might be able to use Excel to find the transaction. So again, that's only for folks that see value on taking the reconciliation to Excel and doing something with those reconciled transactions.